All right, Piper, today we're going to be talking about some of the aircraft systems. This aircraft is not certified for known icing conditions, but it does have some anti-ice capability. Um, right here you see this black strip on the propeller. Yeah, I always wondered what that was. That's a heated strip, and if you get into icing conditions, uh, we have a switch inside here that electrically heats this. Now you notice that it only goes this far up. Right. And that's because the rest of the blade is traveling so fast. It will just fly off. Well, no, it has to do with compression of the air and heat. So um, this is the only part of the blade that would normally get ice. Now the um, alternator cannot heat all three of these at the same time. So we divide it into two sections. First, it heats the inner section on all three blades. And then after a while, it'll heat the outer section and there's a meter in the plane that will show us when it switches over. Oh, and it's important cool. for us to watch that so that we know that the entire area is getting heated. Um, if the meter is not in the green, that means that one of the three blades is not getting heat. And we don't want that because it would melt the ice on two of the blades and not the third blade. And you'd have an unbalanced condition that would uh, be, there would be a lot of vibration in the airplane. So it's really just for emergencies. You're not supposed to take a plane like this into exactly. icy conditions. We're not certified for known icing conditions, but if we inadvertently find ourselves in icing conditions, this system helps us turn around and get out of it. Um, the airplane will carry quite a bit of ice, but the prop gets out of balance very quickly and loses its efficiency if it starts to pick up ice. So a hot prop, this is called a hot prop, and uh, that's what uh, gives us some time to get out of the icing. This mounting area right here is for a hot plate that goes on the windshield and it plugs in right here. It gets its electricity right here. And that keeps this area of the windshield uh, when your clear of ice. When parked or when you're flying? No, when we're flying. So when we want to come in for a landing, normally the whole windshield would be covered with ice. Yeah. But having this oh, hot plate on there. Just so the pilot can see. The pilot can see in order to land. All right, Piper, so we're going to talk about some of the other things on the aircraft. Right here is a static port. This little tiny hole that get static air for our altimeter and our airspeed indicator and our vertical velocity. So we have to make sure that that's not covered. Sometimes when they paint aircraft or work on it, they put tape on it. Make sure that little hole Gotta is clear. Hole. Okay, and then right here, this is the um, external gas tank. It's a gas tank that's um, installed below the baggage compartment. And this is where we fill it. It holds 18 gallons. You notice this placard that says forward? Yeah. Okay, that always has to be facing Match forward. That arrow. Right, and the way that they fill this is they go like that and they pop it out. Mm -hmm. And that's how they fill the tank. Oh. Now, the reason for the placard is that if you had the, the backwards like this, this could po the wind could possibly pop Knock that it out. Open. Yeah. yeah. So when your fuelers do that, you want to make sure that they, they get put that correctly. Oh, it just got really sunny. Yeah. All right. I used to be a little quicker at doing this. You can fast forward it. There we go. All right. So, so Piper, here, I'm going to let you put it on now, okay? So you're going to push it straight in. Okay, like. All right, Piper, let's see if you can close that up now. All right. Ooh. There oh, you go. there we go. Now turn that before you flatten it, turn it. Oh. There you go. And we have the placard facing forward, and this is flush now, okay? So it's not going to come out. 18 gallons. All right, Piper, so when we put fuel in that external tank, which is below this floor right here, that's where that gas tank is mounted, okay? Okay. When we put fuel in there, we have to observe this placard. And it says max compartment weight with fuel tank installed, and it is installed, is 105.5 pounds of fuel and or baggage. So you have your choice. The weight must not exceed this limit. So you can put 100 pounds of baggage? Exactly, or you can fill the fuel tank, but not both. And fuel is six pounds per gallon, okay? Sounds so, good. So we're gonna secure this. Okay, we're gonna talk about that extra fuel tank that we have. And here's a placard here that talks about the F fuel transfer system. Capacity is 18 gallons. Okay, so it says operate in the main tanks until the right tank fuel gauge reads half full. Our right gauge is just a little bit over half full, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. So you just flip that switch? Um, so what we have to do on the switch is we have to actually hold up the switch until 
we can let go of the switch and that orange light stays on, okay? The tank is almost empty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let go of that. And you see that light stays on, right? Yeah. So that means it's transferring. And it'll transfer until that light goes off. When that light goes off, the transferring is done. This switch has three positions, off, on, and start. So we hold it into the start position, because if we let go, it goes to on. And we're priming the pump. So right now, fuel is transferring from that baggage tank into the right main tank oh, in the wing. Oh, okay. Okay? So the way you do it, like I said, was you hold it up in the start position. It's spring-loaded, because if you let it go, it goes back to on. So you wait till when? Well, you wait about 30 seconds, and then let it go and see if the light stays on. If the light doesn't stay on, you have to go back and hold it to the start position. Okay. But there's no gas in there right now. We're just uh, there, there actually is gas in there. That's why that light is on. Oh, but it says empty. Uh, it's almost empty. Oh. I always keep a few gallons in there. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn our post notifications on so you don't miss our future videos. And make sure to follow me on Instagram. That should be in the title of the video. I post lots of like fun behind the scenes stuff on there, so you don't want to miss that. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up.